Hey guys, in the previous video, I showed you how to use FluxConfui on Google Colab for free to create stunning AI-generated images. In this video, we'll take it a step further. I'll guide you on how to combine LoRa with Flux to create images with unique styles or themes. Let's get started. Now I'll start Comfy UI by clicking the notebook link from the last video's description. Since I've already installed Comfy UI on Google Drive, I'll uncheck these options to start Comfy UI faster. And here's the default workflow. Let's create a new one. First, we search for and add the unit loader GGUF node. This will allow us to load the model properly into the workflow. Next, we link the UNET loader GGUF node to the load LORA node. Strength model controls how much the LORA affects the model's output, while strength clip adjusts its influence on the prompt. Set both to 1.00 for full effect. Next, we link the load LoRa node to the basic guider node using the model output. Next, we link the basic guider node to the sampler custom advanced node using the guider output. Next, we add the random noise node and link it to the sampler custom advanced node to provide the initial random noise for image generation. Next, we link the KSampler Select node to the Sampler Custom Advanced node to set the sampling method using Eula. Next, we link the Basic Scheduler node to the Sampler Custom Advanced node to set the noise schedule and steps. Next, we link the Empty Latent Image node to the Sampler Custom Advanced node to set the image size and batch. Next, we link Sampler Custom Advanced to VAE Decode to convert latent data into an image. Next, we link the Load VAE node to the VAE Decode node to load the VAE model for decoding the image. Finally, we link the VAE decode node to the save image node to save the generated images to the output directory. Next, link the clip text encode node to the basic guider node to encode the text prompt for image generation. Link the load LoRa node to the clip text encode node to integrate the LoRa with the prompt. Next, link the dual clip loader G, GUF node to the load LoRa node to load the clip model required for text and image integration. And with that, we've completed building the workflow combining LoRa with Flux. Super simple, right? And now, we'll download some LoRa models to integrate into this workflow for testing. Next, go to civitai.com. First, you need to sign in. After signing in, click on Models to browse the available LoRa models. Click Filters to refine your search. Under Model Types, select LoRa to filter for LoRa models. Under Base Model, select Flux 1D. And now, let's take a look at some LoRa models that are compatible with Flux. This LoRa looks amazing. Let's click on it to check the details and see how it can be used in our workflow. And now I'll copy the link to download this model. Now I'll click the button to stop the current process. And now, Watch as I type the command to download the LoRa model.
And now I'll click this button to download the LoRa model. After that, I'll run Comfy UI. We'll use the workflow we built earlier to test the LoRa model. Select the model we just downloaded. Type a simple prompt into the prompt box, for example, a man. Click Q to start generating the image. It seems I forgot to connect the load LoRa node to the basic scheduler node. All right, let's try again. Here's the result. The image has been successfully generated using the LoRa model we applied to our workflow. Looks amazing, doesn't it? That's it for today. We successfully combined LoRa with Flux in Comfy UI to create amazing images. If you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.